Hello everyone, and I am back from SAC Anime Winter. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I had an amazing time seeing all my friends, well, most of my friends, the ones that did go to SAC Anime, um, but yeah, um, and it was an amazing con. And despite the weather, it actually worked out pretty well, and yes, they did move gatherings to inside, on Saturday and Sunday. Friday there was no problem because it wasn't raining. So Friday was the only nice day. Saturday was all right and then Sunday was the worst, but they did have gatherings inside. They moved them indoors. So no, we did not have to stand out in the rain for our gatherings and that was great and that was a plus. Um, but yeah, and I stayed indoors as much as possible. I did have to go outside a few times, but a few times, but it wasn't too bad. Um, the wind did get crazy, but I survived it. So, anyways, um, Friday um, was good. It was nice and sunny, and it was a bit cold, but not too bad. Um, I was Chia that day, and yes, I did get a shoot of Chia because I had one planned with a friend, um, my friend who is a photographer as well, and the great thing about Friday is when I was in the vendor's hall, um, I was just, you know, looking at stuff, you know, first time in the vendor's hall at the con, not first time ever, of course, but I mean, you know, first day in the vendors and stuff, and I was just looking around at stuff, like I was in the artist alley section, and all of a sudden this Dazayan Atsushi spot me, and they come up to me, and I was like, oh my god, I found a Dazayan and Atsushi, so I hung around them for a bit, um, and we were just totally in character, and it was the best thing ever, and I asked them, hey, are you guys free at, like, 3 o'clock, because I have a shoot plan, and I was wondering if you guys didn't want to join me, and they said, sure, we would love to, so it's like, I was just over the moon, because I had a designer not to she for my shoot, and it was amazing, oh my god, and the shoot turned out so good. I am looking forward to those photos. I am so, so excited to see them. Oh my god. They were just amazing, and the shoot was a lot of fun, and oh my god, we were just in character, like, the whole time, and it was just, oh my god. I fangirled so much during that shoot. Oh my god. Best, best shoot experience ever. That's, like, one of my favorite shoots I've ever done, and I thank my photographer friends so, so much for it. Um, he's known as Conchon Photography on Facebook, so go look him up. So, con dash chan chan and then photography. I might, I will link him in the description so you can go check out his photos and stuff. He's a friend of mine and he does good cosplay photos, so go check him out. Anyway, so that was the main highlight of my Friday. I was made Yurio the evening, that evening with the leopard ears and tail. I was having slight issues with my leopard ears staying on, but they did stay on for a good part when I was him. Um, the gathering was big, and it was cold outside because I was in a maid dress, but it was alright. It was fun. I had a fun time at the gathering. I hope I see photos from the gathering. Um, and yeah, then like, not too long after that, I decided to go change into my kigu because it was way too cold to wear that maid dress for long. So I changed into my kigu and I felt so much better because it's so comfy and I was a lot warmer when I was wearing it. So yeah, um, so that was basically my Friday. Saturday, Saturday I was Daya from Love Live for the first half, of course. And the gathering was inside. It was where the big, the four stairways are. We had ours on the left, like my left, and then on the right was the Vocaloid Gathering. So it's like they were right next to each other. So for the Love Live Gathering, it was like 80% Love Live and then 20% Love Live Sunshine, which was kind of sad because we were vastly outnumbered. Um, I know Sunshine's still kind of new, but I was expecting at least a few more cosplayers from it, but there weren't that many of us. There were like, I would say, five or six of us. But, I mean, you know, I'm sure there will be more as, you know, time goes on. I'll probably see more at Fanime, but I'm not doing Senj or I'm not doing Love Live for Fanime, sadly. But, you know, I am going to wear Daya more, though, 
because I love wearing her. And yeah, I got a lot of compliments as Daya, so. And it was confirmed that she's best girl, so yeah. Um, but that was the Love Live Gathering. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then I got to meet up with um, some of my skit people because they were at the Vocal Aid Gathering and it was right next to the art gathering. So it's like it worked out perfectly. So we met up, we did some run throughs and practices with our skit because I was unable to attend Friday evening because like stuff came up and my mind was just sidetracked from what I was supposed to do. Like, because I was supposed to meet them after the Yuri on Ice gathering. But, like, my mind was just preoccupied by last-minute stuff that came up. So it's like, I apologized to them. I told them what happened. They understood. So we practiced on Saturday, and it was it went well. We were able to practice well. Um, and then after that, I just walked around as Daya for a bit more. And then... I was in the vendor's hall, and I was checking the time, like, okay, I gotta go back and change into Gakupo soon, right? Because, you know, we had to meet at the auditorium at 4, so we could be there early, do some quick last-minute run-throughs, so we make sure we got everything, you know, just to make sure it's fresh in our mind, because obviously we don't want to mess up and all that. So, I was like, okay, around, like, 2.30 or 2.45, I'm gonna go back to change, and then head to the auditorium. So, it was, like... 225 2 ish maybe like it was around 2 30 and i'm like okay it's time for me to go change all of a sudden i hear this cute this loud buzzing noise in the vendor's hall and i was like okay what the heck is that like i wasn't sure what it was it didn't cross my mind what it could have been and then someone i think i heard someone over, like overheard someone say oh is that the alarm and i was like okay so it's an alarm like it was the fire alarm apparently and everyone was told to evacuate the build the, or evacuate the building and I was like okay did someone like set up set something on fire like I don't know if it was a false alarm or like something was actually on fire or like you know but I was like kind of freaking out and I'm like okay I'm just gonna go to the Hyatt to change because that's what, what I was planning to do anyway so I'm like okay I'm just gonna do what I was normally gonna do head towards the Hyatt because that's where I was staying and you know I went back to my hotel room to change as everyone else evacuated. And I think I, I heard someone say they smelled smoke or something. And I was like, oh, crap. So, like, I just, you know, I was like, okay, everything's going to be fine. I just got to go change and then meet with my friends at the auditorium. So I went to change and, you know, got all that done. And I headed towards the auditorium. And, oh, my God, it was so stormy. Like, I was just you know, pushing through that wind and stuff. And then I met up with our Miku, like she was behind me. And so I, we walked towards the auditorium together and then we did, you know, we waited for everyone else. Some of, uh, some of our group was a little late, but they did show up. So we were able to do some run throughs and stuff last minute. And then, you know, it was masquerade time. We were nervous but excited, of course, as always. And we were able to do our skit, and it went really, really well. No, sadly, we didn't win anything, but we had a lot of fun with the skit, and we didn't have any problems. So that is a plus, you know, and we're all winners here. So, And we saw a lot of good walk-ons and skits. I adored all the cosplayers who were up on stage, and everyone was amazing. So... Yes, this was a really good masquerade experience, and knowing how Sack Anime's events haven't been so great lately, I'm glad that the masquerade actually turned out pretty well. There were no mess-ups as far as I know. Nothing noticeable that was bad about the masquerade. It actually went pretty well, so I heard the Starlight Ball was just crap, and I feel bad for everyone who had to go to it. Um, I hope everyone who went got their refunds for that because I would definitely demand my refund if I went. But I'm just thankful and happy that the masquerade went smoothly. So I'm super, super thankful that the masquerade can be, can have good reputation now because as one who was in the masquerade this time, I for one can say it went really well. So. Yeah, and then after the masquerade, we had our um, group photo shoot, and that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see those photos as well. I don't remember the name of the photographer. I do believe I got his card, though, so I have his information. Um, if you are interested in 
um, our Vocaloid photographer's information, I guess I could link it to you. I mean, I don't really know him personally, but, you know, I met him at the con, so... He seemed pretty cool. He did our photos, and I can't wait to see those. We got group photos as well as individual shots, and I'm excited to see those. Um, so yeah, that was Saturday, and then Sunday, yesterday, I was Keith from Voltron, and that was like the worst day weather-wise, but I was inside most of the time, so that was good. Um, I checked out of my room, like, well... Our checkout was at noon, but I had to go to the gathering at 11, the Western Cartoon Gathering. So, I dropped my stuff off at the Hyatt Lobby, and then I headed towards the gathering, because I felt like I was running a bit late. However, the organizer was also running late, so, like, I got there right when they did, so, like, I didn't miss anything, so I was thankful. I was, like, maybe five minutes late, but nothing had started yet, so I was like, yes. And we were a pretty small gathering compared to last time, because at summer, it was big, but this time there were only a few of us, but I mean, that's fine as long, as long as others were there. So we had a fun gathering. It was a bit short, but it was a lot of fun. Um, but yesterday was mostly a chill day for me because Saturday was so hectic, you know, like with all the stuff happening. So Sunday was my chill day and it was fun. Some people did like my Keith cosplay and I'm really happy about that. I do want people to cosplay Voltron with in the future, and I do have someone in mind that I want to be my Lance, so I'm hoping he can be my Lance, because I would love that so much. So yeah, um, but overall, I would say this hack anime was pretty decent. The only bad things were the fire alarm, by the way, I heard it was a kid that pulled it, and the parents got fined, thank god, but I heard it was a kid that pulled the fire alarm parents need to watch their kids especially at a con when there's tons and tons of people so yeah um but the only bad things at the con were the fire alarm the starlight ball and the weather other than that i think the con went pretty well so yay um as for getting stuff um i didn't actually buy that many things i don't know it's like I, I know I have a lot of stuff already, and it's like I'm trying to get rid of some stuff as well. So it's like, I only got like one, I bought like one thing, and that's this, um, my other keychains, so move it out of the way. I got, I found this, um, Kagura keychain from Fruits Basket at the swap meet, and she was only a couple dollars, so I instantly bought her. Because I've been wanting this keychain for a while now, and I'm so glad that I finally have it. Isn't it adorable? Isn't she so cute? Yeah, I put her on my phone along with some other keychains, like my Hozumi keychain from Prince of Stride. And then this Tofu keychain that I've had. Um, I just found out, like, yesterday that this was here, this little slot where you can put keychains. I'm like, I didn't know that was on this case until now, and I've had this case um, on my phone for a while, and I just now noticed that. Also, um... One of my roommates um, in our room, um, he was cosplaying Jumin from Mystic Messenger that weekend, and he said someone gave him a couple Jumin stickers, and I was like looking at them, and he's like, I don't really want them, do you want them? And I'm like, are you sure? And he said, yeah, you can go ahead and have them. I was like, okay, that was very nice of him. So these are the stickers that he gave me, and I think they're really really adorable. I'm actually considering cosplaying Jumin now because I realize I have everything to cosplay him. Well, I might need the black tie. Um, I don't have a striped shirt, but I might just wear a normal white one, but I kind of really want to cosplay him. So, and I've got the wig too, of course. So it's like, I've thought about it and I just, I just might cosplay him. I also need a decent white cat plush. I might have one. I have to look around because I have a whole bunch of plushes and I might have a white cat plush. I do have one, but um, it's kind of old, so I don't know. But yeah, these are the stickers. I'm just like shoving them at the camera, but they're so cute. I don't know what I'm going to put them on just yet. I want to put them on something, but I don't know. But they're so cute. I love them. So yeah, and this is the bag. It's got Bill on it because they had the um, the voice actors from Beauty and the Beast. 
So, and there were a lot of Beauty and the Beast cosplayers, let me tell you. Um, so, this is the flyer for the next SAC anime. And guess who's going to be a guest at SAC Anime Summer? They got the voice of Ham from Toy Story, and that is amazing. I can't believe they got him. I really hope I can meet him, because that is awesome. Um, they were also handing out posters, and I got my sister um, the Beauty and the Beast poster, because she loves Beauty and the Beast, so I got her the poster that they had, so I can't wait to give that to her. I did show it to her, and she loves it, so I can't wait to give that to her. And, of course, this is the program book. Isn't it cute? I love the artwork on it. It's so pretty. Like, that is really adorable. And here's the Sack Anime Summer information on the back. So, yeah. And I think that's all. The rest of this is just, like, my personal stuff. Like, my Chuya dagger knife. Yes, I did use it in the shoot, and I'm so glad I brought it, because... I was able to use it for some photos. And that's about everything in here. So, yeah, that ends my POSAC anime vlog. My next convention, I'm not sure what it'll be. It will it might be SATCON. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to SATCON in March, but we will see. If not, there is Grape City Con, but they're moving that to April, because usually it's in February. But I guess they're having it later in the year, and they're having it in April. So that might be my, that might be my next con. My next big con is definitely Fanime. I'm working on saving for that, so I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I will see you all in my next video. My, Mo uh, my Moana wig has still not come yet, so that might be my next video. I'm sure it'll come soon. So, 